What do we do? Hello there, we're Grant Lee Buffalo, and we're here on the, uh, the festival grounds. We're just outside of our tour bus, the, the Big Silver Bird. That's what the we call it. The Big Silver Bird. Would you like to come inside the bus? We'll give you a little, you know, a little tour. Come on inside. Okay, we're going inside now. We're going to get a bus, and we're going to see what it's like to be actually inside a tour bus. Watch your step there. Right back this way, please. Don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed. This is quite often what we refer to as the Kimball Lounge, so to speak. There's so Kimball Lounge now. This is where all the really serious drinking occurs is back here. And then uh, we have the, uh, the video library, which is stocked full of, of exciting educational films. Educational films, cop killers, that's a really one of my favorite. Where's the one about beauty and hygiene? That's something that I've been watching extensively. And not without my daughter. That's also one of our favorites. Uh, people often ask us about movies and our film influence on our careers. And not without my daughter, I think, is probably one of our biggest influences. And probably in color as well. Well, it was colorized by Ted Turner. It wasn't actually shot in color. Oh, that's fabulous. I love that colorized thing. I'm Thank hoping someday God I can technology. get colorized, sort of. You have been colorized. We're colorizing this now. This is really originally shot in black and white, but no, we've dubbed it in a color because we have the technology. Splendid. Grant, is there anything else you think you'd like to sort of investigate? Well, gee whiz, Joey, I think we've been quite thorough with our investigation of the back lounge. Probably. Perhaps we should journey further on down the hallway to the, the place where we sleep, where dreams are considered. Shall we? Uh, it's a great idea. You lead the way. Okay, and this is... Uh, if you've ever been on a submarine, it's a lot like this. Or if you've seen the movie Aliens. Yeah, it's very and the, similar. And the sort of, uh, what is that where they have suspended animation? That was right, something right. they got into. Like those pods they have. Yeah, it was something they got into they, so they could do space travel. And it's actually come quite in handy, I guess, with touring. We enter these little cocoons. And that way we're able to time travel from one gig to another, basically. And wake up feeling fresh and new and <clears throat> excited about life once again. Um, we're up here near the uh, the front of the bus now. This is uh, considered the, the cockpit of the bus. And uh, the gear shift. Here's the gear shift right here. We have a um, we have a certain way of um, a kind of code, you know, that we use. And we have these cups. This is very important. Right. When you leave the bus in the middle of the night, you take one of these cups and you uh, you place it on the gear shift like this. And that alerts Malcolm, our driver, that someone is off the bus so that so that no one is left behind. And Malcolm, um, why don't you go over some of these uh, these tapes here? What, what do we have here? What, uh, what are you say. looking for? Right now? My favorite tape is uh, maize. Maize? I'm not. Yeah. Uh, that means corn in, in no. uh, Mayan. I, I think. Frank Beverly of maize. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. He did a, a song about four years ago called uh, Joy and Pain. I see. It's one of my favorites. Right. The rest of it is mainly all various dance music, something to keep me awake when I'm driving at right. night. Right. That's real important as a driver. Well, it certainly is. Yeah. <laughs> Because if I don't stay awake, you lot won't stay awake. That, that's right. That's right. Just just part of the, uh, well, just 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 part of the road, I guess. Well, it's part of the protocol of the drive. That, that that's that's what I was looking for. That's I was looking for a word like protocol. For. Protocol. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. word, Malcolm. Yeah. Sing for this pocket full of pills. 
taking his high heel. We're in tight. We play the seven one night stands. Will he set you? I barely saw the light And just as it kicked in Something saved my skin Something saved my skin Joe, you're lame with that mic. I just want to say, you just don't have a clue. As far as the mic'ing technique goes, okay, you need to... Now, you say something. Yes. Hey, let me ask you a question. Okay. What did festivals did you go to before you were in a band? Like, would you have any festival memories that made you want to be in a band? Oh, we used to have these great festivals called Day on the Green in California when I grew up as a kid. And it would be like the Pat Travers Band and Ronnie Van Halen. Ronnie Montro. Ran Ronnie Van Halen? I, I, I don't Ronnie know. Montrose. It would be a lot yeah. of rock bands, and you would get there early and, and drink a lot of beer, and it was great. What do you reckon of those onions? Let's talk about your new material. Okay. Joey's wearing suede. I'm wearing denim. Well, I'm yeah, wearing suede as well. A nasty velour. Well, yeah. It's I can't not tell nasty. because. Nasty. Well, I can't see because my my viewfinder. You're nasty. My viewfinder's black and white, and it's it's not as sensitive to the we've subtle to, fabrics. Uh, we've had to augment our. Oh. How do you feel about Woodstock happening again? Woodstock. Woodstock. And bonds. Woodstock's and bonds. Exactly. Well, we just hope that you know that the people aren't treated like livestock. And you know that the security at Woodstock is run by the FBI. Is oh, do you know that? Is that true? Is that true? Or are you just making that up? That should tell you something. No, it's absolutely I true. I thought it was ran by KFC. KFC, FBI, it's all the same. It's one of those uh, an acronyms. Woodstock and Bonds, do you mean that because it's such a marketing thing? I think that uh, the, uh, the, the right-wing fascist powers that be in the right United wing. States... Oh, you're picking on KFC again. I'm sorry. They've what about the left wing? <laughs> Actually, I like I'm a white wing, if I could. The right wing, well, the dark wing, or whatever wing it is. They've gotten together and they formed their own little... They've taken a cultural identity and they've marketed it for their own political purposes. That's my slant on it. And <laughs> any band that's playing there, do you think that they're tying into that? No, I don't think the bands have anything to do with it. I think they're innocent victims. Exactly. Innocent bystanders. Bands just want to play music like girls just want to have fun. It's the same thing. <laughs>